Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Welcome to episode 8 in this series where I'll show you how to build a website with Umbraco V8. In this episode, what we're going to do is wire up the footer. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is just go in to see how it's currently um, rendering its markup. So if we go into the footer partial, and we can see that it's basically a list of um, links, which are icons and the link. And then it's got a copyright text at the bottom. So what we can do is we can have a look at this, these links. We've already defined the document types and things like that anyway, inside Umbraco. So if we go to the home page and we have a look at the bottom, we've got footer and we've got social links. So we can um, add a couple onto here. So now with uh, Font Awesome, I don't know if you're aware, there's now an Umbraco icon, which is pretty cool. And that's using version 5.11. Zero. So let's first of all add an Umbraco one in there. So we can do if we just go to Font Awesome and we find out what this needs to be. So it's copy HTML. We'll just copy that HTML there and we'll just paste it into here and we'll just remove it. So we've just got the class name. So that's the Font Awesome class that we need to use. And then the link, well, we may as well link to Umbraco.com. And then we can just call it Umbraco. And open in a new tab and then submit. And then let's do one for CodeShare. So we need to just search for the icon. So we can do uh, share. And the share icon that I use is that one. <clears throat> share alt. So we'll copy that HTML. And then the link, we'll just do HTTPS codeshare.co.uk. And then open a new tab. Submit, save and publish that. So we've got two items there now. And because of the way we wired up the the property it shows what the class name is so you've got an idea of which link this is and then we can uh, go to the template and what we want to do to start with is we want to get those social links now if we go back in here and we hover over this it's social links with a capital L so we need to just define this in the top here and we just need to say var social links and copy that equals model dot value and then we just say social links uh, but what we want to do is we want to actually it's not model dot value we need to get the home page first so var home page equals model dot ancestor or self and we can tell it the type we want we can say home and because we're using models builder we can say home like this if we weren't using Models Builder, we would just put the document type alias in here, like that, and take that off. That's if we weren't using that, and that. Uh, so that would be how we would do it if we weren't using Models Builder. But on this site, we are using Models Builder, so I'll take that off, and we'll leave it like that, and we'll see if it works. So we've got our home page, and then what we're going to say is homepage dot value. And it's an I enumerable of link. And we want the link, which is Umbraco web models. This is formerly known as the RJP multi URL picker. So that should give us our social links. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to say that if we have any links, we're going to render out this unordered list. So if links social links is not equal to null and it has some then we will want to render inside of there 
So let's just move this. I like to use um, Alt and Alt to move my code. Oops. Right, so we're saying only render this if it is the case. So then once we've set up the UL, we want to do inside that uh, for each for each var um, item in social links. And then we're going to render an individual item. And what we can do is we can delete these others below because it's going to loop through those and render it out. So what are we saying then? We're saying that it's got to have a URL. So this will be at item.url because the, uh, sorry, dot link.url. Ah, what am I doing here? So it's not necessarily a link yet. Let's just see. So social links. Ah, no, I'm doing this wrong. Let's go back. It's, it's more than just a multi URL picker. This is the multi URL picker, and actually, it's an individual one. This outer thing is actually a it's nested content, so we need to do i numerable of i published elements, and then we'll say social links. Then inside here, we need to do var link equals item dot value. And tell it to be a link because we use a single URL picker. And then we want to say um, link and then var icon class equals item dot value string icon class like that. Then we can use this in here. So we can now do link dot URL and we can do target on there as well. So this is if we want it to open in the new window or not. So target equals at link dot target. And then the class that we want to use. So this is uh, using a stacked font awesome icon class. So this is saying you want to stack them together and you're going to do a circle, which is twice the size. And then you're doing here. This is where we have to replace. So we do at icon class here. So we're going to say use our class and do it as one you know, times one rather than times two of a size. And then we'll save that. Let's have a look and see what it does on the front end, see if it works or blows up. We'll refresh the page. And we should see two links now, one being on Braco and one being the share one. So that has worked in a fashion, but it doesn't recognize the Umbraco one. And I think that's because we're pointing at the wrong um, version of Font Awesome. So let's just find out if we go to start, it should tell us where we need to um, reference the style sheet. So if we just go to download, right, so start, so download, download the free version, show in folder, oh, wait for it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So once it's finished downloading, it will it won't have that .cr download. There we go. Extract all of that. So while that's downloading, let's just go and have a look at this. And so CSS. Now we've got vendor font awesome free. Right. So we need to copy over the web font and the CSS folder, right? So we can do that. Web fonts and CSS. So let's go into clean blog web, uh, vendor folder, font awesome free. And we'll just delete these folders and then we'll replace them with what comes from this one here. Like that. And now we should be able to go back to the other page. Uh, 
and it should in theory just work now because I've replaced it and it has there's the first Umbraco logo that I've seen on the font awesome so we've used it there and then you can um, wire this up as well so if you want to you could add a property for that at the bottom here or you can do this so you can go into settings uh, sorry translation so to get the translation menu you need to go to users you need to go to groups administrators and you need to allow them to see the section translation and you do this for whichever group you want them to be but as i'm an administrator i need to see translation so and that's what i'm logged in as reload the page and you'll get the translation section and then here we've got a dictionary so i'm just going to do footer dot uh, copyright name create that and then I can say uh, pull seal and save that so with this dictionary section you can define your different uh, dictionary values and it'll work for different languages and things like that but it's good for like hard-coded things that would normally be hard-coded on the page that you don't want to store as a property you can actually store it as a dictionary value and then you can just render that on here so if we go back to the footer template and then so i'll leave copyright copy and then i'll just do at umbraco dot dictionary get dictionary value and then i'll just put in the footer copyright name and actually i'll just save it as paul seal 2019. right so let's refresh the front page And we should see that the footer now has got our copyright statement. There you go, Paul Seal 2019. So there you see how to use the uh, dictionary. And with the dictionary in Umbraco, you can, you can put other items as children of dictionary items as well. Um, but yeah, that's just a mild introduction to the dictionary. So that's our footer all wired up now. These go off to the relevant pages and we've completed another section of the uh, tutorial series so i hope that's helped you if it has and you, uh, you want to say thanks then you can go to koshare.co.uk slash coffee and you could buy me a coffee but don't feel you have to and thanks to everyone who already has done i really do appreciate that um please click on like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with others as well and i'll see you on the next episode thanks a lot bye